In a previous video, we explained model types and when to use them. And in this video, we're going to create some new models. And I'm going to show an example of how you can use these. So over here to the left, for example, we see that we already have some articles, some writers, and we may have some categories for these articles and also tags. Now, let's say we want to create a whole new section for our website that features our portfolio. So this might be a little bit different from articles. So let's go into the plus button here next to model. And I want to create a new post type and this is where we're going to feature our work. So we can call this model type my portfolio. We can see that the initial properties that we have are a title for the portfolio. We have a slug or our URL path. And then we have a body where we can add the text and images of our work and a cover image. So now let's click create and we can see that that's created here as a post type. Now for the portfolio, we may want to have team members that are different than the writers. So we're going to create a new user model. So let's click on user type and we'll call this team members. And you can see here the initial properties are a name, the image of the team member, and then a slug. So we'll click create. Now, as far as the categories go, let's add a new category type. And we can call this type of work. And we'll click create here. And then lastly, we may want to have some tags. So let's click on add model, go into the custom type, and we can call this tags or labels. So now we have my portfolio, which we can drag to the top. We have team members. We also have a category type and a custom type where we can store our labels. Now that we've done this, let's create a few items in this type of work category model. So we might want to have a new item called photography if we want to categorize our photography work. And I'll have the slug say the same thing. Now let's create another item. In this item we can type graphic design. And again, I'll update the slug and we'll publish that as well. So now we have two categories. And in the custom model type, let's just add a few labels. So we can label something as UX design and give that the same slug. UX hyphen design. We'll do another one. Brochures. And so on. Now with the team members, we can add new team members. So I'm going to add myself, for example. I'm just going to call this Caleb. And I want the slug to also say Caleb. And I can add an image of myself if I'd like. And now we have me added as a team member. So I'll click publish here. Now when we go into my portfolio to show off my work, I can now create a new item in this item list. So I'll click add new here and let's add a title. I'll call this Rex Analytics Data Science Survey White Paper. And I'm just going to paste in some text and images here. So I've started to create my first portfolio item and I can connect some of those other model types by adding a new property. So here, first of all, I just want to add a cover image so I can come over here. I'm going to add this cover image like this. And then I want to add the team members that worked on this. So we can click add property and we can connect this relational model here. So here, instead of writers, I want to connect team members. And this is going to be universal for all of our portfolio items that we create. So as soon as I set this, we're going to find these same settings in future portfolio items. And we want to be able to select multiple team members. So we'll click on that here. And we'll enter the property name. We can call this the team. And then let's click add here at the bottom. Now I can add myself because we have one team member. Then let's also add a category property. So we'll click add property here. We're going to come over here to type of work. And we can have this be a single select. And we'll name this type of work and add and then we can choose from those different types that we've created so this may be more into graphic design and just like that we've created a new portfolio content management system with the teams the type of work the portfolio page itself 
and we can click publish here. And later on, we can add this CMS list right onto the website to feature our work. And I'll show you how to do this in a later video.